the complete pregnancy journey from conception to birth. Welcome to your complete guide to pregnancy, designed especially for families in the United States and Canada. In this detailed journey, we'll walk through every stage from conception to birth, highlighting the latest recommendations from top American medical organizations and practical tips for expectant parents. Whether you're preparing for your first baby or expanding your family, this guide is packed with essential information for a healthy pregnancy experience in North America. Every year, over 3.6 million babies are born in the United States and nearly 400,000 in Canada. The journey from conception to birth is an incredible process and understanding what happens at each stage can help you make informed decisions for you and your baby. Let's start at the very beginning, conception. Conception and fertilization. Pregnancy begins with conception, which occurs when a sperm fertilizes an egg. In the US, about 85% of couples conceive within one year of trying. Ovulation, when a mature egg is released from the ovary, usually happens around day 14 of a 28-day cycle. After intercourse, Sperm travel through the cervix and uterus into the fallopian tubes, where fertilization occurs. Of the hundreds of millions of sperm, only one will successfully penetrate the egg, forming a zygote. This zygote immediately starts dividing and travels down the fallopian tube toward the uterus, a journey taking about a week. At this stage, genetic traits like gender, eye color, and other inherited characteristics are already set. Implantation and early development. Six to 12 days after conception, the fertilized egg, now called a blastocyst, implants into the uterine wall. This process can cause light spotting, which is normal and affects around a quarter of American women. After implantation, the body begins producing human chorionic gonadotropin, or HCG, the hormone detected by pregnancy tests. In the US and Canada, early detection tests can identify pregnancy as soon as six days before a missed period but testing after a missed period is most accurate the placenta a vital organ that supports the baby begins to form it provides oxygen and nutrients while removing waste and also produces hormones to maintain pregnancy and prepare the body for breastfeeding the first trimester weeks wound to 12. the first trimester is a time of rapid change by week four, the neural tube, which will become the brain and spinal cord, begins to form. American health authorities recommend women take 400 micrograms of folic acid daily to help prevent neural tube defects. By week five, the heart starts beating, though it's usually detected by ultrasound around week six. In the US, the first prenatal appointment typically occurs between weeks eight and 12. This visit includes confirming the pregnancy, estimating the due date, and screening for health conditions. By week eight, all major organs have started to develop, and the embryo is now called a fetus. Facial features become more distinct, and tiny limb buds appear. At week 12, the fetus is about two inches long, and the risk of miscarriage drops significantly after this point. The second trimester, weeks 13-26, the second trimester is often the most comfortable for American women. Morning sickness usually fades and energy levels rise. Around week 16, some women start feeling the first fetal movements, known as quickening. First-time moms in the US often feel these movements between weeks 18 and 22. Between weeks 18 and 22, a detailed ultrasound called the anatomy scan is performed. This checks the baby's growth and development and can reveal the gender. By week 20, the halfway point, the fetus weighs about 10 ounces and measures six inches from crown to rump. The baby can now hear sounds, including the mother's heartbeat and voice. By week 24, the lungs are developing surfactant, which is crucial for breathing after birth. This week marks the age of viability in the US with advanced medical care. Babies born this early have a chance of survival, though risks remain high. The third trimester, Weeks 2740. The third trimester is focused on growth and preparation for birth. In the US, prenatal visits become more frequent, usually every two weeks from week 28 and then weekly after week 36. Around week 28, 
glucose screening for gestational diabetes is standard, as this condition affects about 6 to 9% of pregnancies in America. The baby gains weight rapidly, and the brain and lungs mature. By week 32, bones are hardening, but the skull remains soft for delivery. Babies born at 32 weeks in the US have a survival rate, over 95% with proper care. At week 37, the pregnancy is considered full term. The baby's organs are ready for life outside the womb, and most babies in the US are born between weeks 39 and 41. Labor and delivery. Labor typically begins naturally between weeks 37 and 42. In the US, most women deliver between weeks 39 and 41. Labor has three stages. First stage, the cervix dilates and effaces. Early labor can last 12, 20 hours for first-time mothers. American hospitals recommend staying home during early labor until contractions are regular and strong. Active labor, the cervix dilates from six to 10 centimeters. Contractions intensify and become more frequent. This stage lasts four to eight hours on average. Pain management options in the US include epidurals, used by about 60% of women in American hospitals. Second stage, the pushing stage, ending with the birth of the baby. For first-time mothers, this stage averages one to three hours. American delivery rooms are equipped for continuous monitoring to ensure safety. Third stage, delivery of the placenta, usually within 30 minutes of birth. U.S. hospitals follow protocols to ensure the placenta is delivered completely to prevent complications. Immediate postpartum care. After birth, immediate newborn care in the U.S. includes clearing the airways, assessing breathing, and performing the APGAR score at one and five minutes. Skin-to-skin -skin contact is encouraged to help regulate the baby's temperature and heartbeat and to promote bonding and breastfeeding. The first hour after birth, known as the golden hour, is crucial for starting breastfeeding. American guidelines recommend exclusive breastfeeding for the first six months. Lactation consultants are widely available in US hospitals to support new mothers. All newborns in the US undergo mandatory screening for genetic and metabolic conditions within the first 48 hours. Early detection allows for prompt treatment and better outcomes. Key takeaways. The pregnancy journey from conception to birth is a remarkable process. In the United States and Canada, access to advanced prenatal care, skilled healthcare providers, and modern facilities helps ensure healthy outcomes for mothers and babies. For the best results, attend all prenatal appointments, maintain a balanced diet, avoid harmful substances, and follow the guidance of your healthcare provider. Every pregnancy is unique, so it's important to stay informed and ask questions along the way. Thank you for joining us.